Hi, my name is Justin, and... 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 You know what's funny? We have the same bits every week, but you don't seem to prepare for them ever. And this is Vash. The subscribe button, what your topic is going to oh, be. Oh, I should like start thinking about subscribe button right now. Today's movie is The World's End. Which is the, the different third... movie from The Other World's End that came out like a, two weeks ago. <gasps> they uh, they just Armageddon called us. This is the End, isn't it? Yeah, but it's like Armageddon and um, da Deep Dante's Impact. Peak. Uh, Deep Impact. It was Dante's Peak and Volcano. Mm -hmm. Then there was, what was one where it's a gangster's paradise with Michelle Pfeiffer. Cool. Dangerous Minds Dangerous and Lean on Me. It's always like two movies. Were those that, the same year? I don't know, but it was the same idea. <laughs> no Strings Attached and Friends with Benefits. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, those came out too. the same year. Two the same thing. This Dante's is. Dante's Peak okay, we're going was there. terrible, but Volcano was awesome. Really? You liked Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones and Anne Hage? And who? I loved, I thoroughly, especially when the guy was on the train and he had uh, the I dead body. I know what you're talking, yeah, and he jumps. And let me tell you something, flotation device. <laughs> I don't know how I could reach you. <laughs> oh, wait, yes, I yeah. did. <laughs> Why did they just have like a giant glowing arrow to the thing in his hand like, hey, stupid. We need to get back, we need to get back, we need what to get back. About? We were talking about, the, uh, believe the world's end still. Believe the world's end, wait, what? No, I believe, we're talking. <laughs> This is the third of the Cornetto trilogy. The other two movies of this trilogy were um, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Hated that and didn't see that. I think they were both really good. After Shaun of the Dead, I said no more Britain movies, English movies, England movies, movies from England, BC. I'm gonna let you work it through. Uh, no more British movies? Yeah, you were fine. English would have worked fine. Okay. But Why did you think I was talking about like the language? It was more like from England. Cause no, if you watch a foreign film, is this a foreign film? Uh, yes, because it is that is a foreign country. Interesting, a foreign film that you don't need um, subtitles for. Like it's like wow, good for them. Congratulations. Yeah, like we're actually British people for like speaking English. Foreign film, I could understand. <laughs> did you laugh? I chuckled. You did laugh a few times. I would call those chuckles. I don't know. I didn't hate this movie. I just really didn't like. It just. It was like, oh, we're gonna have thin air for dinner. Like, okay, like. I enjoyed the movie. If you liked the first two, I think you'd enjoy this one as well. If you liked the first two, you probably will, because it was the same as that. It was the same type of like comedy and. A lot like, of the same characters were in a lot of actors. Is this comedy? Can you call this comedy? You, know you laughed, so yeah, I oh, would call yeah, it comedy. You got me on that. You always get me with that. What are we talking about? The movie. Why do I feel like I've been drinking? I haven't drank all day. So obviously, it's Simon Pegg is in this movie. Um, yeah. Simon Pegg from. Well, the other trilogy and Run, Fat Boy, Run, and actually even Star Trek. Well, okay, um, no, wait, because in Star Trek, I, I love I him. Loved He's probably him my favorite part of Star Trek. The problem is, though, I loved it before I found out it was Simon Pegg, who I did not care for his movies. So they kind of like, you know, pulled the, so they now pulled the you, rug out from under now me. Now do you like Simon Pegg? Uh, ooh, you can't just throw a question at me like that. I, I need time to think about that. I don't know. It was really long. It, like, it took them. It wasn't even two hours. It, it, it wasn't? No. We talk about Simon Pegg. I like had a him. lot of the same people from Shaun of the Dead and from Hot Fuzz. Uh, uh, a lot of the I same actors. I did not see Hot Fuzz, but, like the, like the, but were they the same characters? Yeah, yeah. I, no, they weren't the same characters. They oh, were just, just the same actors. He liked using the same core people in a lot of the movies. Like the fat guy. Well, no. uh, I can't call them fat. Fat people don't, like, fat people can't call fat people fat people. Like, okay. I would, well, like, I wouldn't if then skinny people can't call, not that no, I'm skinny. No, you definitely can't call people fat. Skinny people can't yeah. call fat people fat Now, people. now um, I, being a fat person, guy. would not call another person. I wouldn't be like, ha-ha, you're fat. However, once I actually lose all this weight, then I'm going to start making fun of everybody. <laughs> fat people, watch out. I am going to get every last one of you. That game on the iPhone or whatever called uh, Draw Something, where mm -hmm, it's like, mm -hmm. it gives you things, you'd be like, draw a horn. I'm going to draw a fat person. Be like, ha-ha, fat. Whoever you believe in. Thank them for keeping me fat because once I lose this weight, it is over. I am going to be the biggest a hole on the East Coast. One, I actually believe every word you of what should. you just said. You absolutely and should. And then two, what are you doing to not be said not skinny person? Let me tell you something. I am not doing anything. Matter <laughs> of fact, I'm really not doing anything as long as Papa John's has this half price deal on anything on their entire menu every time the Yankees win. Why would they pick a team Wait, like that? They that you should see the pile of pizza boxes in my kitchen. Well, let me I tried say, I, well that's a funny thing because I hate Papa John's. It's a whole big mess. I'm never going to get thin. Never. No. Never. So, fat people, you got to pass this lifetime. Um, should we review the movie? I thought we already did that. On this one, I'm going to give it a three out of five. 
Um, I don't think you need to go to the theaters for this, but I think if, especially if you've seen this the other two, uh, the Coronado trilogy, it was fun. It was funny. It very much is that British comedy kind of stuff. Can I get a list of, of all your threes? Vash, do you want to try and review it? All those numbers that we had before, pull mm-hmm. those down. Pull okay. those down because I don't even remember what they are. There's no. like a million of those things yep. in that. I give it a two because I was like, meh. I give it a three because it was like, well, it had some cool scenes in it. So two and a half. Oh, we should say they can subscribe to the page. I've been waiting, hoping that at some point. Oh in no, this I day, got nothing. I got to think about something. Awesome! You can um, also like us on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. Oh, I'm um, gonna get back on Twitter today. I'm gonna start tweeting today. Uh, next weekend, Labor Day weekend, I will be in Atlanta for Dragon Con, the biggest party on the East Coast. I'm um, gonna make every bad. De- I actually have a list of bad decisions that I want to like check really? off, like that I've done all of them. Yes. You should tweet some things on that list. I will. I'll put there those you on go. Twitter. If you bad want to uh, hear what Vash's plans are for next week and his bad choices, follow him on Twitter. Bad choice number one, accept a drink from somebody else.